morning guys welcome to today's video we did the goats and the pigs this morning we decided to leave the pigs in a little bit because it's colder out and it takes forever the, for them to eat and then the goats try and steal their food and they can't eat their food so i'm gonna let the pigs out got my trusty little dog with me today right right kirby right she goes everywhere with me she is a perfect farm dog and she loves outdoors I can't wait for it to snow. I'm really excited about the snow. Once the snow comes, I won't be too excited. Because I want her to experience her first snowfall this winter. You gonna let your friend the pig out? Snickers, you're gonna let Snickers out? Hey right, Snickers, you ready to go out? I'm gonna let Posey out first, okay? Alright Posey, you're full of straw. What happened? You're full of straw. You ready to go out? <laughs> Kirby. There you go. There you go, Posey. I gotta bring your water out. Alright, so Posey's out. I fill up her water. You know what's terrible is I don't know any of the ghost names. I don't even remember. I think that's Lola, so I, I might remember a couple of names. Anyways, they're eating. So my idea is to go on and measure this opening because I'm gonna put a big plastic curtain on there from uh, Temu. They have this plastic porch thing so I'm gonna I gotta measure that and I forgot my measuring tape I put a plastic thing there so the snow doesn't come in stickers out come on stickers come on get come on stickers get out there get out there enjoy the day drinking his water I'm gonna roll up this hose today problem is um tightened it too tight so I gotta get some branches and I want to put a sheet of plastic there so I gotta measure this too and I'm gonna cover the whole door the whole door I'm gonna cover stuck there and then at the bottom here I'll cut strips and they can go in it so that way it'll block the snow and the wind and I'll keep it actually warmer in this winter time keep it warmer I uh, usually do barn chores early in the morning but I have to wait for the plumber to come today check out our pipes in the basement and change a few things so he came to give me an estimate and come back to fix that well I usually do chores in the morning for the horses and you know clean the poop and stuff like that but this morning I just fed them and let them out so now I got to do all the cleaning I usually take Kirby with me Kirby's my dog that likes to run around the farm good morning guys welcome to Thursday you won't believe we're came today Sophie is coming home from school to her brand new MacBook Air. So it arrived this morning. The only thing I like about Macs is how they package them. Like I always see people unbox them and they just rip these things off and it's like so ASMR. But yep, her computer arrived. It's so soft, so fancy. So she'll get that surprise when she gets home today. Holy moly, you guys, it is actually freezing out here. Summer is for sure gone. I have three shirts on and it's not enough. It's definitely not enough. And the horse show, I looked ahead for the horse show weather. <gasps> Let's just say we're gonna freeze our butts off, but it's still gonna be fun. All the horses, one, two, three, four, five. There's one missing. Can you guys guess who it is? I don't know where she is though, but anyways. All the horses are eating at the round bale and none of them have blankets on. My friend told me that she actually put her horse's blankets on a couple nights ago. She doesn't have a barn to put her horses in at night, but it's not below freezing yet. I just don't, I just can't imagine having to break out the, the blankets, you guys. It's almost time though. Almost time, Penny Pickle. It's so gorgeous in the afternoon. So gorgeous. But if you guess that it was a willow missing, and I don't know where she is, she could be on the other side of the feeder, which is likely. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that my girl comes to me? Like all of our horses love us each best. Okay. You guys, look who's my friend now. Do you guys see him? And then this guy's always my friend. Say hi. <laughs> I don't know what, ow, I don't know what happened, but this guy just suddenly became friendly. Like he comes up to us, he plays with us, he chews on us, like lets me pet him. It's, it's a shocker but he's still so small. None of our goats have come back into heat recently, so we're hoping. Are we fighting? 
I still really like the looks of him though. And I'm so glad he lets me touch him now. Look at his hair. Like he did not have this much hair on him a month ago, even like two weeks ago. That's so much hair. And I don't know how it's gonna keep him warm though. Like it's not, it's like thin hair and it's like bristles. It's not thick, but he is looking, he's got like a mohawk happening. <laughs> He's so funny. Posey just has a tiny bit of hair compared to Snickers. Oh my gosh, you are the worst goat. She is honestly the worst goat. She will headbutt you to death. You wanna sit on my lap? Isn't she so cute? <laughs> she always has to be touching me. Like she can't just lay beside me. She always has to have some part of her body on top of me. Hey, how was your day? Oh my God, I did go. Bro. How do you know? I don't know, I'll shop the trick one. Because that's not what the trick one looks like. Oh, batteries, too. I needed these because my um, controllers are dying. Thank you. I just keep um, taking the same battery out and putting it back in, and somehow it's still charged. Why are you more excited about batteries than a laptop? I'm excited about this. They're the bad. most exciting no. thing about those kind of computers is the unboxing. Yeah. Do you know how to do it? Oh, also, I know how to unbox them. My hair kind of stands mm. This is big. Yeah, that's so satisfying if Sam wasn't, wasn't washing dishes and if Steffi pulled it off in one strip. Yeah. Be nice to me. I think that is pretty nice to you. Price is still on. Tiny. Tiny. Well, it's better than my computer. It's a Mac, though. You're going to have a whole lot of learning to do. Bro. Bro. Alright, so, Brody. Oopsies. Yeah, Y'all didn't see that. Let's see, Sophia. Oh. Is it blue? Oh, slate. Yeah. Here on it. I'm ready. Bro, Sophia. Oh, it's black. Oh, yeah. That's a Where's the power button? I'm guessing that. You probably have to charge it. Is that it. the power button? Sometimes they come charged a little bit, and yes. sometimes they come it not charged at all. Hold on. It looks blue. Are you? It's blue gray. I hate blue gray. He's almost blue gray. That's, that's good logic. Oh my God, it's great. That is very that good logic. Time, bro. Whew, all right, you guys. It is so cold now. Hi, Ladybug. No, she was so sad I came to her. I was going to her until she saw me bring the boots into the bar, my boots into the barn. And then when I got her, she sighed. And then I came to her and I was like, You did a big sigh when you saw the boots? Because you know that that means I she's going to. She's going to ride you? Should I put her mane now? <sighs> Look how cute she is. You got dirt on you. Oh, you are sweet. Are we braiding for the show? I don't think we I don't know. Do you braid when it's freezing cold? Probably. No, I don't think Our we fingers should. are going to die. Yeah, that's why I don't think we should. I think we should just like cut it. Do you know what's weird? Like, I'm super bonded with all of our horses. Like, not her. Yeah, I'm not bonded with her. Like, I like her a lot. She likes you, but she's And crazy. I like her. I really like her a lot. I don't know if I filmed that. I'm super, I'm not super bonded to this horse because we haven't had her for very long and Sophie doesn't let anybody touch her. Okay, I let you touch her. <laughs> I know, but I, I mean. do anything with her because she's I a know. Big, scary mare. No, I don't care she's that she's. She's not scary. She's lovely. Yeah, she's big, but I'm not scared of her. Wow, you look big. <laughs> when you look in the camera, she look, it looks like it shaves 20 pounds off of her. But you guys, she's not super thick. Like her hair, her winter fur. Well, she's it's, thick. Her hair is not. Yeah, but I don't know why. Like, I'm sure she's probably never wore a blanket in her whole life. So, so hopefully we don't have to put like that. Or look at her little forelock. It's like reaching her white part. Wow. She looks different with a forelock. I know. She looks so different with a forelock. I like her without the forelock. You see still. how she stands very still while you're filming? I know. Like, she's like, good angles? she's like, what is happening? Look at, there's a gray hair. Whose gray hair is that? Um, That's Penny's white hair. You use my brush? Oh, I see. <laughs> Don't use my brush. I didn't use your brush. 
Look at those ears. You know That's what, what she's going to look like when she has a forelock. It's going to like come all the way down and change how she looks totally. Oh, it goes to like here. I love a horse with a Roman nose. She's like, stop. First, look at she messed it all up. She's like, I've never had this. She probably isn't used to it. Anyway, so he's gonna do a ride. Ow. She religiously rides, no, don't cut her right now because it's too close to winter. She needs to get warm. She religiously rides two times a week and then as winter comes in and she st stops showing, she'll probably just ride once a week at the because barn because we, we have to drive in, yeah. So she'll be driving in for her lessons every week. So it's about to end, but not yet. It's still nice enough outside that she can ride. Maybe sometimes on the weekend. Yeah, and sometimes like, like, I want to ride in the snow this year. Do you want to ride in the snow? No. Why? I mean, if you fall off in the snow, it's good. Oh, I love riding in the snow. I think it's amazing. She's looking at the fridge because she wants a carrot. Someone said in the comments on Facebook, on our Facebook page, I posted a short there today, and someone said, yeah, of course, lady will follow Sophie. That's what treats do. And I'm like, holy heck, Sophie does not treat train this horse. She gets a treat after a ride. That's all she gets a treat. That's why she looks at the fridge after her ride. <laughs> <laughs> I like her treats. But only I treat train my horse. My kids hey, are trained. My tra minis are treat trained. Oh yeah, that's true. The minis because are treat Lola trained. will do anything you tell her for a treat. Yeah, but she doesn't. So my kids are are trained traditionally by their trainers through the, their journey to not treat train any kind of any horse that they ride. So they don't treat. She doesn't treat train her. Like I give Penny treats even when we're riding so i have traded my crocs in for these i have a couple pairs of these and i have to donate one to be barn footwear so that at least i'm warm it's the new thing for the horses to all come and watch now i have pictures of them all standing at the fence i should show you guys it's hilarious He's probably like, sucker, <laughs> you have to do that. So the show is a derby. And basically how it works is that she can pick the high option or do the low option. So she's doing 18 inches and cross rails is the low option and 18 inches is the high option. So she can do some cross rails and some um, of the higher ones to get more points or she can do all the higher ones or she can just do all the lower ones. She can see like how she's feeling that day. She's going to have a practice round anyway, so we'll see how it goes um, the day of the show. Storm's just standing here pooping. Yeah, that's so rude, Storm. It's hard for me to get used to Storm because he's so dark again. Like, he was so brown and bay all summer, and now he's like black. Anyway, she's not going to the show to get ribbons. She's not going to the show to like for any other reason that as that it's a uh, opportunity to work her horse off pro off property and just practice and just do her best like this whole season has not been like about showing it's been about getting experience for lady and for her and to just like do the things that they want to do you know what's weird so when i ride penny there are times when like i know what she's thinking i know when like she wants to to canter and she's like asking me can we canter now and then there are times when she knows that i want to canter like we can tell each other's what we're doing now like we can tell each other's minds like she know we know each other and this horse already anticipates what sophie's gonna ask her like already like she already it's almost four months that we've had her it's almost four months and she already understands like she like sophie like shifts just a little bit and she's like oh you want me to go like she she anticipates sophie's what sophie's gonna ask of her so much already like all the time and that is like the craziest feeling that's the feeling that i never expected to have i didn't understand that, that i would have that feeling like when we got our horses and i got my horse no one ever said like never knew that we would read each other like that riding was so much more than like physical cues it was like a mental cue i just think something and she's like i know what you want to do and sometimes she thinks things and not only that but like she'll be like hey can we canter and then she waits to see what i'm gonna say and i'm like yeah let's go for it and then she goes for it you guys look at <laughs> he's giving her little love bites I know, he's love biting her and she's not sure if she likes it. 
You see him? Well, she's saying, stop it, stop it. I don't, I think Penny doesn't know how to like handle affection and love. Like, I don't think she understands. For the first time in ages, I wake up and don't hate it. I guess I found some peace. They're literally just gonna trot around and have like a workout and then be done. Something new to me. 